No, 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 it's a male! Now in the tarantula community, actually a lot of people ask how to sex a tarantula. So I'm gonna demonstrate but first, you need to soften up the mold first because the mold is now dry and we need to immerse it in, soak it in water and specifically soap water. You want to make it foamy so that the foam is able to seep into the hairs of the tarantulas so that they won't be hydrophobic. As we know, tarantulas are very hydrophobic on their exoskeleton and that's why we want to make a soap water. And then, with that water, we put the mold in and soak it for about 1 minute to 2 minutes and it's done. Gentle. Gentle, it's very fragile. And then there, dip it in, dip it in, and you can see that the tarantula actually floated in, floated on the water, but it's under the bubbles, and so that is how the mold will absorb humidity and become soft again. All right, so the mold is ready. Soak completely soak very soft and dry it absorbs away all the excessive water and oh I think I have saw it I think I've saw it alright so how do you sex a tarantula is by checking this part this part of the mold which is basically the abdomen and you want to open it now i usually put the mold on a polystyrene so might as well just pin them down so that i can sex them properly and also after it dried i can transfer them to my mold collection and now it's time to check it spread the legs out wow this is a very very huge mold don't you think so so what you want to do now is you want to spread open this area this part you see the part that's folding you want to open it and check it Okay, all right, it's open. Right, done, it's open. Okay, nice. Beautiful. Now, if you want to sex a tarantula, of course, because this mold is big, so it is easy to check it. But if, let's say, your mold is this small, then it will be slightly difficult to check. And usually, I use a macro lens to check on the mold when uh, to size them because it's too small um, but this because it is already very big you can actually already see whether it's a male or a female just by looking at it now like this the part that you want to check is this thing you can see that there's actually a flap over here yep that's the flap and with that flap this flap is in between the first top two book lungs. This is the bottom book lungs, this is the top book lungs, so it is in between the top book lungs. So you want to find something that looks like a flap like this, an M shape, McDonald's. So that is basically what you want to look for in a female. If not mistaken, this, this thing here is called a spermatica. And so, once you saw that, it's a female. And congratulations, you got a girl. I mean, I got a girl. So, if you have a smaller specimen, you might need a macro lens to check. Oh no. Oh no. 
No, 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 it's a male! You see, it is all flat. In between the book lungs, it is all flat. Even there's a folded area, but there's no flap. Well, this one. Yep, that's a female. Hope you guys enjoy it and uh, how to size the tarantula video, the tutorial, and yeah. So, hope you guys enjoy this video, and that's all for today.